Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic in the Your Shepherd series is the shepherd is a savior. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Psalms chapter 23 and verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. A few days ago we started a mini series about shepherds. One of the roles a shepherd plays in the life of its sheep is that of not only protection but salvation. Sometimes sheep get attacked by wild wild animals or mountain dogs. Good shepherds put their lives on the line to rescue the sheep from these animals. The Bible tells us the story of a young shepherd boy called David, who at different times had to wrestle a lion and, and a bear in order to snatch his sheep from their mouths. The Bible also tells a story of a good shepherd whose sheep fell into a pit and who did not rest until he had found the sheep and nurtured it back to health. Where am I going with this? Humankind has an enemy. The Bible describes him interestingly to be like a roaring lion. You may not know of him, but your knowledge or the lack of it does not negate the fact that he exists and is very active. The Bible says his assignment is to steal, to kill and destroy. And he's fulfilling this assignment every day. I bring you a message today to bring you into the sheepfold of the one who can protect you from this enemy. There is only one shepherd who is equipped to protect and save you from the power of this dangerous enemy. And his name is Jesus. The Bible calls him the good shepherd and advises us that there is no other name under heaven by which mankind can be saved. The plan of this enemy is simple. To steal from you, kill you, and eventually destroy your soul in a place of everlasting torment called hell. No other shepherd has the power or the might to stand against this enemy. He steals health, he steals joy, he steals peace, he steals opportunity, he's the power behind every negative thing that has happened in your life. He ultimately steals life. Sheep cannot save themselves from attackers. You cannot save yourself from this enemy. So I present to you the good shepherd, Jesus. This shepherd died. He really died. This is not a fable. It is a verifiable fact. He died and rose again from the dead just to save you. The only little issue is that he cannot force you to come into the sheepfold. You must take that decision yourself. Romans chapter 10 and verse 9 says that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. The good shepherd is calling you today. Come into the sheepfold and be saved. Say this prayer with me if you want to answer the call of the shepherd of your souls. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Lord, thank you so much for this opportunity to become your sheep. I confess and repent of my sin. I confess that you are Lord, and I believe that you raised Jesus from the dead. I come into your family today, and I thank you that I am now born again, and a member of the sheepfold of Jesus. Continue to take all the glory, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed, please drop me a line on audio devotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. If you also prayed that prayer, please reach out to me. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.